Turkey built the world's first drone carrier. Turkey made history by commissioning its largest warship. TCG Anadolu is the world's first drone carrier. It can carry UAVs, helicopters, fighter jets, and even tanks. Let's take a look at this floating fortress. TCG Anadolu is an amphibious assault ship. The ship draws inspiration from Spain's Juan Carlos I. It spans an impressive 758 feet in width. It can cover a range of 9,000 nautical miles. It's able to operate at sea for up to 50 days. It took three years to build TCG Anadolu. After it was ordered in 2015, the ship was launched in April 2019. But the pandemic caused a delay in its inauguration. It was supposed to happen in 2021. Anadolu was commissioned on April 10, 2023. Navantia, a Spanish company, helped with the development. It provided design and technology to Sedef Shipyard. The Anadolu is a milestone for Turkey. 70% of the parts were produced domestically. In 2022, Turkey's defense industry exports hit $4.4 billion. It's a far cry from the $250 million recorded 20 years ago. Anadolu was conceived as a carrier-capable amphibious assault ship. It was supposed to carry helicopters and fighter jets. Ankara poured $1.4 billion into its F-35 program. It planned to purchase 100 F-35s from the US. But then Turkey decided to buy Russian S-400s. The US refused to sell its fighter jets. Turkey was forced to rethink its plans for the Anadolu. Consequently, the ship was refitted for UAVs and UCAVs. It can still carry uncrewed fighter jets and helicopters, but the air wing is set to be dominated by the Bayraktar TB3s. It's a variant of the well-known Bayraktar TB2 drone. It's expected to complete testing by the end of 2023. The unmanned aerial systems will perform a range of missions from surveillance to gathering intel to launching attacks. The carrier will also serve as a launching pad for the Kiziloma. It's an unmanned fighter jet developed by Baikar. It made its maiden flight in December 2022. The Kiziloma's current version is subsonic, but Baikar has plans for upcoming supersonic iterations. The fighter drone looks like a fifth generation jet. The Kiziloma is powered by a turbofan engine. It's meant for air-to-air -air combat, plus traditional drone missions. Aside from drones, TCG Anadolu will carry helicopters. The T-129 attack is sure to be a standout performer. It boasts advanced weapon systems and avionics. The ship will also carry the AH-1W Super Cobra. Finally, the SH-70B utility helicopter will add extra flexibility the Anadolu is capable of carrying 1,400 personnel. It's equivalent to one battalion of soldiers. The ship's flight deck is unfit for classic warplanes, but it has six spots for transport, assault, or general-purpose copters. There are also two spots for heavy cargo helicopters. The Anadolu can accommodate up to 30 wheeled vehicles. These include armored personnel carriers and amphibious vehicles. Alternatively, the ship can transport 45 main battle tanks. We see this vessel as a symbol that will consolidate Turkey's regional leadership position. Recep Tayyip Erdogan 